Fine. So now let us see the first join that is conditional join. So this is also called as a theta join. Okay. So what is this one? Let us try to understand in simple manner. So here you see theta join allows you to match two tables based on the condition actually. Okay. So this position, so here you can see the symbol. So this is the conditional join symbol. And here we are going to have a condition. So that is nothing but theta actually. So in this way also you can write down. So can uh, join and theta. So this position is actually a condition we are going to write down. So simple. Now, what are all conditions you can use? So comparison operators we have. So all comparison operators you can use in the condition actually. Sometimes maybe equal, sometimes maybe greater than or less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, sometimes not. So all these kinds of uh, comparison operators, whatever we have, we can include them in the condition actually. Okay. Of course, we are uh, representing this with the theta. That is fine. So now let us try to understand. Let us try to develop the few queries based on this uh, given statement actually. So for that, we are going to take a one table student and another table is course. <coughs> Observe that student table have roll number, course ID, marks and uh, course table have course ID and the course name. So what is the query he is asking? So what we need actually display, display the roll number and course name of each student. So student number one taken which course, student two taken which course, those names actually required. So observe that first of all, these two, these two relations, we have to combine them. So when you are combining them, uh, which attribute uh, you have to use actually, course ID is required. So basing on that, we are going for the combining actually. So that is what, how and all let us see. So first table is student and another uh, relation is uh, course, okay? Where we write the condition, in this position, we will write the condition. It is not a Cartesian product actually. That is what you have to understand. Okay, basing on this condition, uh, without Cartesian product itself, it will return the result actually. So what is that condition? In the student table, CID, and in the course table, CID must match actually. So that is what student dot CID, so in the student table CID, must be equal to course dot CID actually. Only such a records you are selecting. Now this is the result. So from this result, what we need actually roll number from the student table and a course name from the course table actually. So that is what here we are writing. So from the student table, from the student table, we need a roll number. So that is what roll number. And after that, what we need? From the course table, we need course name actually. So that is what asking, display the roll numbers and course names of each student. So what is the output actually here? That is very simple that. So student roll number, student dot roll number, course name. So under these two attributes, what values we are getting? So here A is their course ID basing on this condition. This A is matched with this one. So that means roll number is one and uh, here course name is DS. So student number one taken uh, data structures actually DS course. And uh, next here B, here B matched. So that is what student number two, that particular records in both the tables taken DBMS course actually. Okay, then here A actually again. So this is matched with this record. So that means student number three taken DS. And here C, course uh, CID, uh, course ID is C, here it is C, OS. So that is what student number four taken operating system. So this is what the output from this statement actually. Is it clear? So if you see further deep in the SQL, how you will write down this one, same thing. So that is very simple, right? So select, select student dot student dot roll number comma 
course dot c name these are the fields required these are the attributes you want to display from which table actually from from student table and uh, course table then these two cartesian product is going to happen but from that which rows only required where where so student dot cid course id must be equal to course dot cid this is corresponding sql statement so this is a relational algebra expression equivalent sql is this one actually but for both result is same this one so now let us take one more example uh, to increase little complexity actually so that is here you can see display the roll numbers and course names of each student who got more than 65 marks actually so one more con condition extra you are adding for this so this is also simple first of all let us take the both the tables so that is student so that you are joining with course and what is the condition here condition so first of all you have to match this cid and this is cid so that is nothing but student dot cid in the student table cid must be equal to course table cid after that that is what and operator actually after that here marks must be greater than 65 so we are using another operator here greater than 65 so it need not be always equal actually so that is what uh, student dot student dot marks this must be greater than 65 so two conditions we are putting here actually on this result from this result what we need actually roll number and course name so that is what student dot roll number comma uh, co course dot course name c name so this is the equivalent statement actually very simple okay so if you write it's a corresponding sql statement so nothing is there here so here we are going to put one extra condition in the where class that's it okay so i am just writing that extra condition so that is and after that so that means uh, whatever here we have everything is there after that and uh, student dot student dot uh, marks must be greater than 65 so that's it so this whole thing after this you just add this one so in this way actually uh conditional join or theta join we are using actually so don't forget that uh any operation if you are using in the where clause that means here if you are using condition by using uh, comparison operators then that is coming under conditional join so basing on one particular condition you are joining them actually so that is also called as theta join okay